Greetings gamers and welcome to another LaserCorn channel video. You may have noticed that the Smosh Summer Games trailer has launched. It is live and we're doing it again in 2019 and I, I got my epic moment trophy here and I thought what better way to celebrate the launch of the trailer than to take a look back at kind of how we got here. My top 10 most memorable moments uh, from Smosh Summer Games and how I kind of came to be in this position because I don't know if you know this but I kind of got a little streak going. Uh, I'm going to be defending that. I'm going to set this down. I actually have nowhere to put it. Uh, there was a little mishap earlier. Stay till the end of the video. We'll have some outtakes. But anyway, let's jump right into this countdown. Number one on my list of top 10 most memorable Summer Games moments is a moment that I think is burned into all of our memories. It is, of course, the Wes rap. And, uh, Wes, you know, he was told to make a pun during the belly flop competition. He went a different direction. My name is Wes, I'm from the Wild Wild West, and I'm about to get shot in my mother chest, but don't be sad. Oh, sh Yeah, yeah, he had to look at his phone there, too, because he forgot the words to his rap. It was a very long rap, it was definitely not short. My name is Wes, I'm from the Wild Wild West, about to get shot. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. It, it was a moment that kind of blew up. And uh, I kind of I, I kind of want it to now fade away, get out of my brain. Uh, if I could take a laser and laser it out, I would, because I'm sick of hearing that song in my head. And I know I brought it up several times as a joke, but uh, but I'm kind of I'm over it now. So in the spirit of moving on from the West Rap, I want to take a moment and kind of at the tail end of this moment highlight uh, something that you might have missed from that video. It was Courtney's very impressive heart wheel belly flop thing. It was very acrobatic. It looked like a move from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, minus the belly flop at the end. Oh my God! Oh! So I thought that was very cool and it kind of got overshadowed by Wes's, uh, Wes's very cringy rap that we will no longer mention, probably. I mean, it might come up again, but I will try not to mention it again. All right, let's move on to the next thing. All right, moving on, next on my list, a moment where Shane left it all on the field. Uh, it was this wipeout challenge thing that we did, and he actually did it in a sumo suit, and he went hard. He went hard. He tried to kind of belly bounce his way from one of these obstacles to the next, and it didn't go well, but it looked really great. It was a very memorable moment. I think the editor did a slow-mo of it. It was great. It was, uh, it really showcased Shane's kind of go-get-em attitude. Bonus in that video, we're doing a couple two-for-ones here. In that same video, Garrett, the ref, actually hit me in the head with a dodgeball, which a ref isn't supposed to do. <laughs> and I later attacked him for it, uh, but you can only see it if you kind of look at the very bottom of the screen, we'll play that. So that was a memorable moment for me, but not really, I don't think, for everyone else, because I don't think anyone else saw it, except people who happen to be looking down at the very bottom of the screen there. Moving on to the next memorable moment is the Smosh Games Wild West trailer. Now this was memorable for me because this was actually really well made and shout out to all the crew and the director and everyone who worked so hard uh, to make this video look like what it was. But I think it looks really professional, it's really awesome. Everyone kind of put their heart into it, especially Mari. Uh, because Mari went super hard in her fight scene and actually punched a wall so hard, she injured her hand. <laughs> One day we might have to do a, a rundown of top five Mari injuries, because this is not the first time Mari's been injured. She's suffered more injuries than most of us, so maybe we'll have her on as a guest and run down her top five injuries. But anyway, everyone went super hard. I thought the trailer ended up looking super good, and it was a lot of fun to make. We all had a lot of fun shooting it. It felt like being on a real movie set, so that's one of my most memorable moments. Moving right along, uh, I wanted to talk about something that I don't think gets enough attention, because I almost kind of forgot it had happened until I went back and watched these old videos. During the dodgeball camp challenge, Jovenshire actually drops Trow and straight up moons us. I was on the other team, but he straight up moons us. And not only that, but I watched the video, it is not censored in any way or edited. His butt's just out there. His butt is there on the screen, and then he gets wanged with a dodgeball while his butt's out. And it was kind of a crazy moment. I don't know that there's any other video where you could see Joven or anyone on the cast, but just out there like that. And 
I, it's, it's a memorable moment for me now, and I want it to stay a memorable moment for everyone else, because I don't want anyone to forget that there's a video out there with Joven's butt on it. It's Joven's butt in the video. He mooned us. Okay, I want to talk about something that I'm pretty sure I've only seen happen once. I think it might have been just the rules for that specific episode, but uh, Keith actually pulls off a punishment steal. Noah refused the punishment, and then Keith decided to steal it. This was in the punishment scuba video, and uh, it, it's one of the worst punishments. It's one of the punishments that we all talk about that no one wants to get. It, well, I definitely don't want to get. It's the, it's the butt Sunday one, where they put ice cream down your butt. It's sticky, and it involves your butt, and it's just not a good punishment. And when Noah didn't do it, I was like, oh, all right, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you could take a pass on this one. You know, I have the streak going, so I, I trust in the power of the streak that we're going to win, even if you don't take the points. But then Keith jumps out of nowhere, and he steals the punishment. And then, on top of that, uh, when his butt got whacked with all the Sunday material in it, it was like an explosion. It, w it went everywhere. And that's traumatizing. That's traumatizing to the rest of the cast because you've got all that Sunday material coming out of someone's shorts coming directly at you. It was, uh, it was a memorable moment. Not in a good way. It was one of those moments I want to block out. Now we have arrived at a moment that has burned into my brain, but it's burned into the pride sector of my brain. It was, of course, as so many great moments are, an Ian Corn moment, because when we team up, wonderful things happen. And uh, he had happened to be doing his balloon launcher shots, and he did a little no-look shot. I gotta I do, a no do the no-look. He's doing he's a no-look! No oh! He's doing a no-look! Wah! So Ian was launching balloons, and it was our job to catch them, with really any part of our body. And, you know, me and Ian have that special connection, so even though he wasn't looking when he pulled back, I knew right where that balloon was heading. And I ran, I got in position, I jumped up, and uh, I just, I don't know, I kind of forgot to use my hands. I just, I, I got, I took the balloon square in the face. Oh. 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 Excluded his sunglasses! Knocked his glasses off! Of Ian Corn! <laughs> yeah! You exploded his sunglasses! Oh, his glasses. <laughs> That's the power of eating corn, baby! He shed blood for the team! And I was wearing sunglasses at the time. They were very cheap sunglasses. They broke instantly, and a shard of glass cut me and actually drew blood. I'm sorry, not glass. A shard of plastic. <laughs> There's no glass in them. Uh, a shard of plastic cut me. And, uh, and drew blood, so I bled for the team. And that's actually, that's how I wound up with the, the epic moment trophy. That's my most prized trophy there. I also have an LVP trophy somewhere, but that one's not as prized. It's not as a prized possession. So that was a great moment for me. I got to step up, shed some blood for the team, and help contribute uh, to one of my many victories. Uh, the, the latest victory in the streak, actually, for the Balloonatics. All right, let's take it back. Let's take it way back for this one. Uh, I know in the beginning we had the West rap, but I think it's time we talk about another kind of West moment. A West Joven connect moment, if you will. A moment where they got to connect all the way back in the first summer games when we had that beach house. Uh, we were playing soccer in these giant balls, and then Wes's team won. Uh, they were way more athletic than us. I got very tired in that game. I think I cheated too. I might have moved the goal if I remember correctly. And anyway, so our punishment was to stand there while they lined up and took shots at us. And Wes lined up across from Joven, and man, when he hit Joven, uh, you could hear it. You could hear it reverberate across the beach. It was it was really Clash of the Titans, or one Titan and one kind of semi out of shape dude. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah! Ah! And, and they crashed into each other. And, and down went Joven, and that, but he got a little revenge. His kind of foot, as it flew up, it uh, grazed, <laughs> grazed Wes in his junk. So a little bit of revenge there, but man, just a very memorable, shocking uh, collision there. <laughs> now let's move on to a nice little Mario moment uh, that I remember fondly. We were all doing the bull riding thing. And uh, it was a really fun event. The guy came out and set up the bull. The bull actually broke at one point, and it took forever to set up and then again to fix. But it, we finally got it set up, and we were having a ton of fun with this bull. We all had pretty decent runs. I had the gun going on mine. 
But Mari, uh, Mario, when she went off, she went off with style. And she had one of probably the coolest dismounts I've ever seen, even outside of Smosh games. I've seen this thing at bars, and uh, I've seen it at other events. And no one has ever dismounted a mechanical bull quite like Mari did. <laughs> But it was very impressive, and to be there in person and see her do that, I'm like, huh, you really appreciate Mari's dexterity and her skills as, like, a dancer and a person who just basically has style and grace. It's something I'll never know in person, but I'm always impressed when I see Mari do something like that. This next moment is not only kind of a friendship moment, but also kind of a dark moment for me, because it really showcases just how bad I am at some stuff. I couldn't blow the trumpet. I couldn't blow the trumpet in the final relay in the in the camp summer games and I just couldn't do it. I don't know. There's certain things I just can't I can't do trumpets. I can't whistle. There's something about making air make sounds come out of me that I just can't do. Unless it's like burping, I can do that. Um but in a moment of true friendship, Joven who is on the other team comes over and just does it for me. He's like he saw me struggling and he's just like, "Look, even though I'm on the other team, I can't I can't have you go out like this. I can't have the competition end with you just sadly sitting there failing to blow the trumpet over and over again. Oh, I got you. I got you. Do it. <laughs> so Joven comes over. He blows the trumpet uh, for me and my team gets to move on. Super nice guy move and and something that stuck with me. Very memorable. Thanks, Joven. It doesn't cancel out the memory of your butt being shown in dodgeball, but you know, it it was nice. All right, let's 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 end this list here, and we're gonna end it uh, with a moment that was just horrifying. It just really, really horrifying, and I was shocked to see happen. Uh, for some reason, Noah decided that during the mousetrap punishment, he would kind of clear a path for Wes, so that Wes didn't take any injuries. I don't know what he was doing if he was like, Wes is our star player, we can't have him injured, but it, the strategy was basically, in costume, in these Mario costumes, uh, Noah gets down and he he barrels through the mouse traps in a wheelbarrow position. So just his face is right on mouse trap level, and yes, he's got his arms up in front, but those things are snapping. They're trying to get over his arms, it seemed like. It almost seemed like they were possessed. Uh, but man, I would never do that, and I don't know why he did it, but he did it! And it looked, it looked horrifying, and it looked awesome, and they just wheel bailed right through those mouse traps. Mouse traps hurt, Snap one on your finger if you don't believe me. They don't feel good. So, <laughs> seeing him do that, uh, just a, a true act of heroism and bravery. And I thought a nice place to close out this list. All right, that's it. That was my top 10 most memorable Summer Games moments in no particular order. For those of you who say, don't argue in the comments and being like, oh, this moment was way more memorable. They're all memorable. They're all in my memory. So I'm not gonna look, I wasn't gonna rank them in order. Anyway, leave your memorable moments right in the comments. I'm sure you guys have some Smosh summer games moments that are your favorites. No winter games moments! We'll do winter games another day or something. Uh, but be sure and leave it in the comments. I'll be in the comments checking and responding and I'm sure it'll be a nice little time to reminisce. Uh, in the meantime though, don't forget to check out all the brand new Smosh Summer Games action over on Smosh and Smosh Pit and Smosh Games. There's gonna be videos going up there very soon. Uh, if you haven't seen the trailer yet, uh, go ahead and see that. There'll be a link to that in the description. And yeah, uh, do enjoy. Tell me what you think of the new ones. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. I'm excited for you guys to watch it. And uh, I thought... Oh. You know, I knew that was going to happen and I did it anyway. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you want to check out last week's Laser Corn video, go ahead and click right here. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And if you want to see what video YouTube thinks is best for you, you can go ahead and click over here. Kind of a roll of the dice there. All right. See ya!